going to a different place, which is a new normal. 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 New normal. Embrace the new normal. 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 This new normal is going to look very, very different. Not normal, but a new normal. The new normal. New normal. There will be a new normal. A new normal. New normal. A new normal. The new normal. A new normal. This is the new normal. This is our new normal. Our new normal. A new normal. Our new normal. New normal. The new normal. Our new normal. We will transition into the new normal. This will be the new normal until a vaccine is developed. It's very hard to do something the first time. It is very easy to do something the second time. What does a magician want you to do when he's doing a trick? He wants you to look at the hand that's not doing the trick so you don't see the hand that's doing it. They just want human consciousness to go in a certain way. Problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution, ladies and gentlemen. That's how they do it. You create the problem, you get the reaction from the public on the basis of the way you've explained the problem, which is not actually what happened. And then you offer the solutions to the problems you have created. Something else that I said, problem, reaction, solution, was that the protests, they needed the protests in order to justify the second wave. Bang! It's a matter. Protests, pulling down statues. The whole focus of attention has gone somewhere else. There are other reasons for that, but it's taken the focus away. When the real focus should be, look at the economic devastation of these lockdowns on every community. Any. That should be the focus. This happened just at the right time that they wanted it to get exactly the reaction that they wanted. So maybe there's more to know about this and it's not just only what you see. And I think there is more to come out about all that. I really do. It's kind of freaky folks, you know, when you see that sort of stuff, you can see how long they've had this plan in the making. You know, World Economic Forum rolling out their whole plan to restructure the world, the great reset that we need to combat this terrible crisis and the terrible state of police brutality that we find ourselves in. Everything that these people who run the World Economic Forum have done, and now they're offering us their solution, which is to basically lock everybody into a smart prison. The thing that'll get us back is the vaccine. Until we have a vaccine. Zero tolerance. So every time we see a case, we basically pounce on it. A vaccine. A vaccine. A vaccine. A vaccine. To all 7 billion people. Almost every expert agrees a vaccine is the fastest way to get our world back. You know, it's so important to get not just hundreds of millions, but literally billions of those vaccines Legislative amendments that would make vaccinations mandatory for public school students unless they have a medical exemption. The vaccine is the thing that, that will change things. The vaccine. The vaccine. On the issue of the vaccine, which you've said in the past could take a year to 18 months, will we have to wait for a vaccine to hug our family and friends who are outside of our bubble? You know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That will get attention this time. They're really pushing the second wave. But this is just the beginning, folks. It's not going to go away. I said that months ago, this is not going to go away. They're going to release the lockdown a little bit and then they're going to ramp it up even more. What they want to do, you know, the COVID pass, the pass that everybody needs to have to show they're infection free, all the stuff they want to do. They're trialing it in Africa now. They're calling it a trust pass to make sure you're vaccinated. A vaccination record payment system is what they're talking about. This is the payment system. They want you to be scanned, retinal scanned, facial scanned, biometric scans. And that's how you're going to be paying. You won't need cash anymore. You won't even need your smartphone anymore. You will be paying with your face. And of course, you will need a record of vaccination in order to enter the store to begin with. A cashless economy where people make purchases with their faces. A giant network of surveillance cameras with facial recognition helps police monitor citizens. Ready for the new era of Big Brother? This time the super surveillance may be for your own good? A couple of years ago, I, I did a show called Giving Life to Lucifer, when I talked about the whole 
roll out of this smart grid, the AI system. And I said that in 2025, we are set to be in a very, very different reality to what we are now. By 2025, the whole system will be controlled by AI. That's the way it's going. If you can understand AI, and you can understand that AI is working to gain control for itself, then you understand how these computer models work and why they're so you know, over the top. And so the figures were so wrong. But if you can think of a way of controlling and corralling human beings, then it all begins to make sense. It doesn't matter if the figures are wrong. They just want human consciousness to go in a certain way and they want to merge us with the machine and you know the question is who is they and when you look at it folks it's like they is now AI the AI is already there you know we're waiting for artificial intelligence to emerge but really it's already emerged folks it's already there online we're just not looking at things the right way and what it's doing is it's basically creating a system whereby we are going to be completely dependent upon artificial intelligence in order to survive, in order to perform everyday activities, even going outside and purchasing a meal. You're going to need uh, the whole thing controlled by artificial intelligence to be able to move through that reality, through the new world they're creating. When you look at things such as the Industrial Revolution and you look at the periodic changes that society goes through every 50 to 100 years, uh, even more so every 200 years, is always a birth of a new reality comes from the one before, a new beginning, if you will. But what is the new beginning we're moving into? It's really going to be a reality that is totally controlled by AI, if we're not careful. And you know, the politicians, I don't even think the politicians know exactly what they're doing. I don't think too many people who've been involved in setting this up really bargained for what they were going to be getting. It's like all the rock stars and the pop stars and all the superstars and all the sports stars and all these people that have kept society distracted for so many years. I said to you a few weeks ago, the Miley Cyruses and the Madonnas and all these people have been used to keep us distracted. They're all finding themselves on equal par now. You know, that video that Madonna did in the bath when she was saying, wow, we're all equal now. If one goes down, we all go down. You know, synonymous with the whole of society. I mean, because all the people, all the rock stars and all the people that they paid all these exorbitant amount of money to keep us distracted, they don't care about them. They're all going down too. I said that a few weeks ago, you know, it'd be a bit of a shock for these people to find themselves all locked in their own houses all having to deal with social distancing. Forget all that rock star world, all the pop star world, concerts and sports games and all that sort of stuff. It's not gonna happen, folks. It's not going back to normal. People think that, you know, this is just a temporary thing. No, it's not. And there's also a new action called protect our neighbors, folks. You know, they're wonderful, aren't they? They want you to spy on your neighbors, basically, folks. Like I said, all the sleeping masses are the ones who are gonna drag us into this if we're not careful. So. There's now a new program whereby you can protect your neighbours by keeping an eye on them and making sure they're social distancing. Basically spying on them and dobbing them in if they're doing the wrong thing under the guise of protecting them. You know, now is the time for everybody to realise that, you know, there's a war being waged against us. And we have a lot of tools that we can use to fight this war and we can fight on the digital battlefield. Hit Twitter, hit Facebook, Hit everywhere you can. Do everything you can to get the word out to people, folks, because there's nothing more important than this issue. Our whole world is changing. It's not gonna go back. We're at a time in history where we find ourselves on the front line, all of us. We're on the front line here, folks. That's the thing. A lot of people just don't realize World War III has already started. It's a war that's being waged against the people of the world by the politicians of the world. The problem is the people don't realize it's happening. This a response to this, this social isolation, this removal of even our oxygen, we're not wearing masks. This is such, folks. Like I said, it's it's complete. Everything they're doing to us is to make us sick, folks. And that will be your second wave. And you know, the second wave will be fear and paranoia driven more than anything else. I mean, the first wave is fear and paranoia driven. I mean, how can they even have a second wave? There wasn't a first wave. There hasn't ever been a It's all been about this legislation. It's all been about this police state. The whole thing, ladies and gentlemen, these parasitic morons that we have masquerading as government. What matters is that we realize what's happening 
and we realize the steps we need to take to get ourselves out of what's happening. You know, the steps we need to take to find freedom again. 